In this video, I'm going to show you how to color grade in Lightroom 2024. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Silvia, I'm a maternity photographer. In this channel, I talk about editing techniques to help you make more money with your photos. Now, let's get into the video. In another video, I show you how I color grade my photos in Photoshop using Gradient Map. However, you can also color grade your photos using Lightroom. Color grading is a really good tool for you to add on your photos to create a color identity for your photography. How I like to use color grading and how I would suggest you to use as well is to find a color style that you like for your photos and keep consistent with this color in every job that you do, in every work that you do. But now let's see how you can actually color grade using Lightroom. The first thing that I would do is to color correct the photo, work on the photo actually with the luminosity, with the color correction and the color grading, it would be the last process that I would do in the photo. In Lightroom, in the development tab, we have the color grading right here. The color grading is this section here represented by this color wheel with a bunch of colors and we have the middle tones and we have the shadows and we have the highlights so the way that you're going to be coloring your photo depends of the luminosity of your photo so if you want to work some colors on the shadows you can just work in this part here if you want to work the colors in the highlights you're going to work this one here or you can combo all of them and work all of them at once you can do with the middle tones i'm going to show you how this actually works in the photo and what it actually does to your photo in another photo just stay with me for a second so this section here you're seeing that we have the shadows highlights and middle tones you can also work them individually if you go through the buttons here so we have the shadows, we have the, the middle tones and the highlights. The cool thing when you're working them individually is because you have more options here to work with. If we go back to the section where you can see all the, um, the luminosities and the colors, it's a little bit harder for you to decide a hue or a number or a saturation or luminosity. So when you work, in the individual ones, for example, the shadows, and if you go down here, and if you press this arrow here, you can actually work the heel, the saturation, and the luminance, and you can just drag the triangle here. The heel is the tone of the color that you're choosing. The saturation is the intensity of the color. So for example, if I choose a color blue, the saturation is gonna make this blue more intense or less intense and the luminance is gonna make it a little bit lighter or darker. And this you can work with all of the other luminosities as well. So you can do that for the middle tones and you can do that for the highlight. And another feature that we have here in the color grading that a lot of people don't actually know is that we have this other one here, this other option that it's the global. So the global means that you're gonna work the color in the overall photo, independent necessarily of the luminosity, it's gonna go to the whole photo here. So if I add yellow, it's gonna be adding yellow to the highlights, to the middle tones and the shadows. I'm gonna show you this better in this other photo here. Now we have a photo where we can see the black going to white and we have all the shades of gray. So in our left, we have the black black and a little bit of like line it up the black. And then in this middle section here is where we have the middle tones and we go all to the way to the right and we have the white white right here. So what I wanna show you is that the color grading, what we are doing, we are actually adding colors to your photo. So we have here the shadows, we have here the highlights and we have here the middle tones. So the shadows would be something that it's dark but it's not completely black. So we are gonna have the black black around here then we are going to have the shadows, then we have the middle tones, highlights, and then the whites. So let's say that I want to add some color to my shadow because color grading is about you adding colors 
to your photo. We have no colors here right now. So for example, if I go to my color mix and I try to work with the blue, you're gonna see that nothing actually, no colors, no color here will change anything because, because I do not have any colors in the photo. However, if I wanna add some colors to my photo, that that's what we do with the color grading, I just go to the color grading tab and I can just add some color to my photo. So the shadow here will only affect the shadow in your photo. So if I add some blue, we are gonna see that we have the blue being added to the shadow part. However, the black is still black, right? We are not having blue on the black and we are not having as much blues in the middle tones or in the white highlights or the whites, right? However, we also have this other thing that we can move around. And what this is doing is to make the shadows and the black areas a little bit lighter or a little bit darker. So if I drag it to the right, I'm gonna be making the black a little bit lighter and then you can start seeing some blue colors in this part. If I go to the opposite way, we are gonna make the shadows darker and now it's becoming black black where you see less of the color. So let me go back to the middle and I'm gonna leave this blue here. So the highlights is where we are gonna be playing around here. We have the white white where the color is not gonna be added. So if I go and put a color here, let's do red so we can see better. We can see that this part here is white and the color doesn't go all the way to the right. It almost reached the white, but what is white, like pure white, is too white. And we have also this thing here that we can drag. So if I go to my right, I'm making the white and the highlights even lighter. So the highlight is getting close to be white. And that's why we have, we are seeing now more white and less of the red. However, is if I go to the opposite direction, we are making the whites getting a little bit darker. So it's losing that pure white. And because of that, it's now adding the color. So let me go back to the middle. And now we have the middle tones and the middle tones are gonna work right in this section between the highlights and the shadows. So let's say that I wanna add some green to it. And now we have the green and you can see pretty well the white, the highlights, the middle tones, the shadows and the blacks, right? But we can also play with this part here where we are gonna make it lighter and where we are gonna make it darker. So when we make it lighter, we tend to remove a little bit of the intensity of the green, and when we make it darker, it seems like the green is just getting darker. So we are playing with the luminosity of the color here. Now, another thing that we have in this color grading section is the blending and the balance. The blending is pretty much what it already says, is how much you wanna blend the colors, how smooth that you want the transitions to be. So if I go all the way to my left, the colors, they don't blend very well. And if I go all the way to the right, the colors are blending, they are mixing way more. And now we don't see that green, for example, right here, we don't see the green very well because it's blended with the blue and it's blended with the red. So it's uh, in between color, kind of yellowish right here and a little bit bluish right here. So it's how much of the colors that you want to blend. And balance means what color do you want it to intensify more um, against the other colors? So if I go to the left, I'm saying that I want my shadows to be more intense than the middle tones and the highlights. So let me just drag here and you're gonna see that the, the blue from, from my shadows is kind of taking over and now it's invading the middle tones and the highlights. If I go to the opposite direction though, I'm saying that I want my highlights to take over. So my highlights, the color in my highlights now is getting into my middle tones and getting to my shadows as well. So that's what it means. And if we go here, to the global. Actually, I'm gonna go back here. Let me just reset this. So now when we go to the global option, 
The global will add colors to your photo in general. It doesn't matter the luminosity. So if I go and drag here, I want yellow, it's gonna get in the whole part of your photo. The white is still gonna be white because it's pure white. The black is still gonna be black because it's pure black. However, the shadows, the middle tones, and the highlights, they are gonna add the color. And this is what the global does. It's just adding the color, the same hue, the same saturation. However, because the shadows are darker, the highlights are a little bit lighter, we are gonna have the, a different intensity of the luminosity of the color. But it's pretty much adding the color that you want for your photo overall. So let's go back now to the other photo. Now that we are back to the photo, I'm gonna show you how I would work this photo. Because in my color identity, I have really brown tones. I would just go straight to the global color here and I would add some brown tones to my photos. So first I would like to choose the color that I like. And I think this is good. And now I wanna see how much of the intensity of the color I want. So the saturation of it, I'm gonna go back all the way and slowly I'm gonna start increasing the color. So for me, I think this is good. Another thing that I would do is go to the shadows, but this is again for my color identity and I would add a little bit more brown to the shadows. So I would choose the tone of the brown. I think here's good. And now I'm gonna go with the saturation just a little bit. And for me, this is really good. Now I'm gonna see about the luminosity of the black. I think I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. This is the color grading that I think I will be using for my color identity. Of course, in Photoshop, I can do a way better color grading. So I do prefer to use Photoshop, but if you're starting or if you have a lot of photos to add it, or you know, if you wanna do something quick or just use Lightroom somehow, this is a really good way that you can do color grading for your photos. Here's the before and here's the after, before and after. I think that it looks pretty good. So I'm gonna do a different color grading now so you can see like the possibilities that you have. Let me just go back and reset everything. Let's say that you wanna do a more cinematic look and you like to work with complementary colors and use that cool colors on the shadows and a little bit teal colors, orangish colors to the highlights. So how would you do that? We will go to the shadows and we will choose a color here. I will go all the way so I can see what kind of color they like. I think I would go more cyan-ish color. And now I would see the um, saturation of this color. So I think here's good. I will go to my highlights and I will choose some color more orangish, yellowish. I think here's good. Of course, it's too intense. So let me go all the way back and just slowly increase the color. I think here's good. I would also go to the global colors here and I would like to make this photo a little bit colder. So I would add some cyan or blue to my photo. I'm gonna go all the way. That looks pretty cool actually. This color's good, so let me just slowly start adding the color. Okay, I think it looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go back to my shadows and I'm actually gonna make it a little bit darker. Now I'm gonna add some colors to the middle tones and I'm actually gonna make it a little bit more teal and orangish. I think this is good, not too much, just a little bit. I'm gonna go back to highlight. I'm gonna just make it a little bit lighter and I'm gonna go back to my shadows and I'm gonna make it a little bit darker, just a little bit, not too much. And let me go back to the global and see if I wanna add a little bit more blue 
I think this is great. So right now here we have a totally different color from my color identity and it's a totally different photo. It's something that's dark and cold so it's very different. This is the before, here's the after, before and after. And you can just actually play around and see what colors would work for your photos. You can do something very different as well, like add more green-ish. I think that it's pretty cool when we add some green to the shadows as well. But it's a completely different emotion that you are um, transmitting with your photo. I think this is too much green, so let me just reduce a little bit. I'm gonna go to the highlights and I'm actually gonna add some, let's see. And I'm actually gonna add some blue cyan kind of color. Do something very different. I'm gonna go to this middle tone and I'm gonna actually add a little bit of blue as well. Let me go to the global and just adjust this a little bit more. Now I'm just moving the luminosity. And there we go. A third color grading. It reminds me a little bit of Matrix because of the green. This is the before and this is the after. Now imagine that all your photos have this kind of color. Every person will know your identity. So if I go here, I'm gonna select a few photos and I'm just gonna sync the whole color grading. And if I go through the photos right now, imagine that all the colors and all the photos have the same color. This is beautiful. It's a beautiful color grading right now that we did it together. So the way that I suggest you to do is to see photos that you like, understand the color grading of the photo and try to add the same or style of color grading to your photos and keep being consistent with that color grading. So here's the before, here's the after. It's a totally different photo and it looks very beautiful. I'm actually in love with this color grading. It's very different. Not a lot of photographers do use the green, something that's very um, sometimes difficult to work with, but it's beautiful and you will definitely be recognized by your colors and even if your name is not there. So now you know how to color grade your photos in Lightroom, but even more than that, how to create a color identity for your photography, which will give your photos a better quality of work and this is very important if you want to get paid more. Click the like button if you did like the results. And if you want to know other ways to improve your skills to make more money with photos, check out my latest video here on the screen and also subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every week. For now, this is everything. I hope this video was really helpful for you. Until next time.